the state of Texas and its local governments have declared war on black and brown citizens by conspiring to kill, injure, oppress, threaten, and intimidate, and to willfully deprive citizens of their constitutional rights. The councilman also tweeted a travel advisory urging people not to travel to Texas. While the city's mayor calls this disturbing and reckless, adding that the councilman needs to decide on whether he wants to be an activist or a council member. So we want to hear from you, Southeast Texas. What do you think about the black state of emergency? Is it effective or is it divisive? Let us know by voting with your 12 News Now app, or you can head over to the website, 12newsnow.com backslash vote. That's a tough one. Um, First of all, I agree with the mayor. I think that um, while we can be outraged and have every right to be outraged about what happened to Botham and about what happened to a Tatiana, to say that it's an orchestrated effort on behalf of the entire government and law enforcement, when there are so many people working to do great things in our communities, I don't think it's a fair statement. Um, and I think that when you frame it this way, it does make as people have to- As a conspiracy? As a conspiracy. It makes people have to pick a side. And that's that's not how we're going to get to the bottom of solving this issue of over policing in certain neighborhoods or looking at certain groups of people as more of a threat than others. Um, so I'm going to have to side with the mayor on this one. I, and I do think it is divisive language and there's a better way for us to approach this. I agree with you 100 mm -hmm. percent. What I don't Calling agree. It a conspiracy is is you can't take two separate inc incidences and call it a conspiracy right. against everyone. Right. 